about students of underground coal mining methods MN2102. So since this is being recorded and uh, also being provided uh, through your class representative as a YouTube link also for those who are unable to join uh, because of some remote places and uh, network connectivity problems, they can also see and watch it later and they can discuss with me. Now I'm just taking attendance once and then I'm sharing my screen. Let me know whether my screen is visible. Then we will start. And already we started recording so that will be available to everybody as a YouTube link through your CR also and through everybody for that matter. Now to continue our discussions on underground coal mining methods. This is a perfect time 8 a.m. on 8 February lecture number 14. As we are discussing about some of the issues of coal mines regulations. Yesterday itself I have given all these uh, regulation even its PDF file also in our MS team so that all our students should know about it. I don't expect all the legislation to be known to you, but at least related to our mining methods, especially coal mining technology, we should know this is that coal mines regulations 2017, which is in the Gazette of India, uh, which is uh, from Ministry of Labor and Employment notifications, which was also given on 27th November 2017. Just for you to know about it as a mining engineers and especially coal mining method students. Now this is a GSR that is a government whatever circular regulations 1449E, whereas a draft of certain regulations with the central government proposes to make in exercise of the powers conferred by section 57 of the Mines Act 1952, that is a 35 of 1952. There are so many changes in between also and on the recommendations of the committee constituted under section 12 of this act, Mines Act 1952, were published in the Gazette of India, Extraordinary Part 2, Section 3. Already you are seeing this subsection 1, uh, wide number GSR 773E, dated 20th October 2011, as required by subsection 1 of Section 59 of the said act inviting objections and suggestions from all persons likely to be affected thereby on or before the expiry of a period of three months from the date of publication of the said notification in the official gadget. Why I have shown this is my beloved students of coal mining methods. You should know even when we frame any regulations, any circulars that is given some time to the general public to give their opinions. That's what just I wanted to show you. And uh, this uh, now we are discussing about the development work. In that development work, uh, it is clearly mentioned in our regulations. And of course, when all our students join, maybe after the break at 830, there I will be showing you each and every part of it as a gist of that because you should know about it what is there as far as coal mining methods are concerned. Now 111, this is very easy to remember three ones, right? Vishnu, Brahma, Mahesh, whatever you can take any name, right? Allah, Ishwar, Christ, whatever. Now this is related to development work, what we have been discussing in the previous classes also. Now the dimensions of these pillars and galleries and the shape of the pillars formed in any scene or section shall be such as to ensure stability during the formation and extraction of pillars and also during the period between such formation and extraction. And these are the issues what are considered in designing our pillars. Also, as I used to tell you, my beloved students, about the shape, whether it is a gallery or the pillar, openings, inclines, shafts, and uh, different uh, extraction panels. For that matter, all depends on your analysis of the situation, geomining conditions, whether I should have a pillar of square or a rectangular or a rhombus shaped. And uh, of course, some of our good friends like Ayush Surya and others, 
they also ask you like why not go for the circular right no problem right so all these things are mentioned in this okay and ultimately for ensuring long term stability we are taking a safety factor more than 2 in the design different approaches whether we are using numerical models or empirical models which are designed and based on the data collected in different countries starting from that uh, uh, south african people whatever they suggested and later we have modified our dr shaure of cmrs our formal colleague scientist in 1980s uh, tried to modify and give a pillar strength formula and then we are using that way the designs even the models and other things we have been using it that is as far as number 1 is concerned and number 2 is say with the previous permission in writing of the regional inspector and subject to such conditions as in specified therein no gallery in a sea or a section shall exceed 3 meters in height this is very very important point my beloved students and 4.8 meters in the width at any place uh, that issue already we discussed because based on any any technology available in the particular countries right and also stability of that workings it was decided to go up to 3 meters in the development so that we can provide comfortably even a wooden props at that time when these regulations were framed or later also it is valid uh, and uh, beyond that then we were facing lot of problems of roof control and other things but nowadays with here itself you can note down with more and more machinery sophisticated technologies we may even have for the maneuverability of these machines even height more than this 3 meter provided you are going to ensure that these workings will be stable that is possible only with the recent technologies of support systems and all that definitely we will be discussing uh, in the later part of our modules and uh, that's why up to 3 meter it was kept but in case you may note down somewhere in underlined red color italic whatever uh, bold where if you have some specific situation or conditions where you want to be more than 3 meter that is 3.5 4 meter even height of the galleries in some places and uh, in that case we will be taking a special permission right that is the reason why it is written right uh, previous permission writing of the regional inspector nowadays uh, don't worry for this terminology used in the regulations because previously our dgms directorate general of mine safety was term as uh, was uh, known well known as a chief inspector rate of mine safety that means they used to have chief inspector regional inspector inspector like that now this regional inspector is uh, a terminology that we use which is uh, almost uh the designation what we have as a director of mine safety nowadays and chief inspector inspector means director general this is these are the uh, and inspector means deputy director of mine safety this is the terminology when we are going through any regulations we can uh, co collate with these existing terminologies now for example even in bhuvanesh for now we have our uh, uh, very good uh, Uh, students and other friends also like deputy directors like dr satnar and are some example i am giving you and director general is uh, our 1986 batch from nit raurkela mr prabhat kumar is a director general right now uh, width as far as width is concerned 4.8 meters you know very well when there is any gallery when the width is increasing obviously that stability will decrease and uh, this is the way how it was decided at that time and but for any other purpose specific purpose even for the galleries which are supposed to be even 6 meter or in the mining methods where we go for wide stall mining or some other methods where we may be having even 9 meter width of the gallery we are widening to that and that requires a special permission that is what is the meaning and you are supposed to take it as an experimental permission for conducting that type of experimental trials and once it is proved then that may become the method of mining and in that way we used to contribute in 1980s from cmrs also wide stall mining which was not there before and later we experimented before experimenting we conceived that ideas 
innovative ideas based on the requirements, why that requirement came and why splitting as a final operation was abandoned in 1988. Uh, and then later, even uh, splitting as final operation and uh, that is a ghost committee was formed at that time. There are so many issues that I will be discussing depending on your interest, my beloved students. Now, continuing further, the pillars formed in any CMR section shall normally be rectangular in shape because now, as you know very well, uh, that is an easy way of forming when you are driving galleries and then uh, the galleries connected by uh, level galleries, connected by depressed galleries. That means that will become something like your square pillar or a, the if square with the sides common, I mean same side, then obviously that will become a square. So that is a way how they have given like that. But in a special circumstances, we can take a permission even for rhombus shape and other things. Now, this is more important as far as the pillar size and uh, with reference to, now you can see here, my beloved students of underground coal mining methods, number four class of 111 regulation, coal mines regulation 2017 uh, says, and this is very important as far as you are designing and pillar sizes are concerned, but you can have some variation over this. This gives a guideline, a variation over this through your studies or scientific investigations or through scientific studies, if you prove instead of 28 meter, if 20 meter is stable based on that situation or that pillar, that dimension, that depth cover, whatever it is, then they also will be permitted. Uh, I mean, that regional inspector, as far as this regulation wording is concerned, otherwise they are called as a director of mine safety or deputy director of mine safety in the areas and then deputy director generals as in charge of those total areas and then director general of mine safety is ultimate to give the approval to go for that. This is what happens in designing and implementing the coal mining methods. Now, the distance between the centers of any two adjacent pillars left in a C or a section shall not be less than that specified in the table. That is what I wanted to show you, my beloved students now of underground coal mining methods. This is corresponding to the depth of the seam or a section from the surface at that point. Why the word section is used? Very simple to understand. This can be a seam of around three meter. Otherwise, it may be a very thick seam of 10, 15, 20 meters, and there may be different sections, right? This is the reason why it is mentioned like that. Seam or section means that from the surface at that point and the width of the galleries in the working in caution. Now you can see here depth of seam from the surface when it is not exceeding 60 meter. You need not uh, uh, worry much about this because we were doing when there was no open cast mining at all. We were only extracting through underground mining methods and majority of the coal production was like that when you go back for 40 years back or 50 years back or something like that. Now the reverse trend is reverse where we are getting from open cast more than 90% of the production, but otherwise it is underground, which was more than 90 or whatever uh, previously, right? So here, that is the reason why uh, this is not exceeding 60. Even now we have some mines, uh, my beloved students of underground coal mining methods in India are uh, where we are working in less than 60 meter. Also some underground mines are there. There are so many reasons for that. Very simple reason you can also appreciate, even a layman can understand is, suppose on the surface, if you are having, on the surface, if you are having any structures, right? So let there be some structures like this on the surface. Now you are having your seams, right? Your seam, now you have to extract, and but that may be only at 40 meter, 50 meter, 60 meter, whatever, right? Still at the shallow depth covers. Now, if you cannot disturb that uh, surface structure, now how you can go for open cast mine? So now I am not teaching you open cast mining, but these are the situations where when there was no much open cast mining technology or uh, mechanized open cast mining, at that time all are underground mines only. And then otherwise there may be here and there some type of quarry when it is 
open uh, that is when that is a outcrop of the deposit ultimately when the deposit is up to the surface suppose if this is a deposit if this is seen and it is exposed up to the surface so some part where as far as economic limit permission permits then i can go without any problem you are with the open cast mining that is the way how people were going and then later with leaving some barrier and other things only underground now in that way uh, there were also situations where this gallery width may be 3 meters 3.6 meters 4.2 meters and 4.8 we have taken our our forefathers are those who formulated that legislation or regulations are our indian coal mining regulations uh, it is also still valid where it is difficult to maintain the galleries of more width uh, without any specific supporting and other measures so that is the reason why we are still keeping it and then any requirement of any changes in these dimensions we are going with some type of a scientific studies and then we say that this requires this much of the uh, width for this purpose so they will give the permission this is the way how we design the methods now exceeding 60 and that means 60 to 90 90 to 150 150 to 240 240 to 360 exceeding 360 then at that point of time when these regulations were framed you can imagine so there were no much uh, underground mines deeper mines i mean right as we are doing now even in us and china i have given some examples uta and then here in china some mines even 1 km 1.2 km something like that and uh, otherwise even now in india we are working at around 600 maybe maximums 700 800 and we are we have to plan in future now uh, in that way this from center to center of this pillar that size uh, the distance between center of adjacent pillar shall not be when depth cover is for example it is 60 meters then 12 meter is a pillar size and in the similar way when it is around 360 meters 48 meter is a pillar size that means from center to center of the pillar and with the width of the gallery of 4.8 meter this is the way how and if the gallery width is 4.2 meter then 45 meter pillar size when gallery width is 3.6 meter 42 meter pillar size and then 3 meter width of the uh, gallery 39 meter this is the way how board and pillar method related issues are taken up now to continue little bit further let me also uh, see uh, how many of you have joined because it is an early morning now this is 8:20 so don't worry after 10 minutes we will break for the discussion and your doubts now in that itself you should know in the number 5 classes right where the chief inspector may by an order in writing and subject to such conditions as he may specify therein exempt a mine or part thereof to form pillars in variance to that specified in the sub regulations 3 and 4 as already i told you uh, if there are any specific requirements you uh, a very simple example i am telling you you may note down somewhere where pillar size should be uh, suppose 40 meters right now there is a shaft and we have to connect from one side of the shaft to the other side of the shaft so you should form some type of a gallery or a opening right uh, connecting and then that should be made only through the pillar so in that place you are reducing the pillar size so for that you will be taking a special permission that is what is a meaning okay for in that way there may be so many other reasons where you may be installing somewhere a conveyor conveyor belt right or a, at a junction right you are making a crossover where it is should be more than 3 meter height or it can be a air crossing you are making it one gallery is here and another gallery here but air crossing means you should uh, uh, have make the height more than 6 7 meters then make some a partition between and then air crossing should be made so there your height of the gallery is more than 7 8 meters right so for that you will be taking special permissions that's what is the meaning of this now nothing in sub regulation 2 3 4 and 5 shall apply to workings in a mine made before 7 september 1926 still that is valid because the of course there may not be any mines which are working like this uh, and following provision shall apply to all workings made prior to said date except during the extraction 
or reduction of the pillars. What are that? If the distance between the centers of adjacent pillars is smaller than that specified in the table under sub-regulation 4, whatever we have seen, the pillar shall not be further reduced. I hope you understood the meaning of this, right? If uh, it was done before, right? Before that regulation was formulated. Now these cases are very less nowadays because already that mines might have been closed. But as a regulation, it should be there that, that they kept it like that. Then uh, in that case, that should not be further reduced. That is a meaning. And uh, I will not be reading like this all regulations, only this one spe specifically because it is one, one, one a very uh, good number and uh, this is related to our development since we are talking about the development of the deposits and in coal mine. So I want you to know each and every part of this. And of course, uh, that helps you later also as a mines manager. You may become later as an agent, director, CMD, chairman, whatever, right? It will be useful for you because you are supposed to know about this as a coal mining engineer, coal mining methods designer. So. Now, if the distance between the centers of adjacent pillar is not smaller than that specified in the table under sub-regulation 4, the pillar shall not be so reduced as to render such distance smaller than the distance so specified. That means if it is already bigger, now you need not reduce it now. That is the meaning. Any distance required in this BR by the chief inspector, as you know, now chief inspector is renamed as a directorate general. Director General of Mine Safety, Mr. Prabha of our 1986 NIT Rao is presently DGMS in that bar. And he was here on 1st February, I mean last year, when he was appointed as a DG. Now, the height and width of the galleries shall not be further increased without the permission and writing of the regional inspector. There is a difference. Chief Inspector is Director General who is sitting in the bar and regional inspector in the respective areas now for as that is the mines which are being worked, whether it is in Sundargarh and other places, it will be in Chaibasa, that is one place. Otherwise, in Bhuvaneshwar, they will be controlling it. Their director of mine safety is now is a regional inspector as far as this terminology is concerned. So they have not changed this terminology, my beloved students of underground coal mining methods. You should know about it. Now, and subject to such conditions as you may specify there. Now, in the case of all workings, where in the opinion of regional inspector, I mean director of mine safety, right? And Mr. Dr. Satyanarayana, I Satyanarayana, Inumula Satyanarayana, right? He, he has been acting director of mine safety, also regional inspector for Bhuvaneshwar. Now one other person is there. Now he's due for that. He's a deputy director of mine safety. I'm giving you so many examples so that even if you write their names, you will know uh, who are doing what and then what work they have done and for what mines they are regional inspector or the director or deputy director of mine safety, right? Who are uh, responsible for the safety and the design of our underground coal mining methods. The dimensions of the pillars or galleries are such as to render that crushing of pillars or the premature collapse of any part of the workings is likely to occur either before or during the extraction of process. He may, by an order in writing, this take this terminology why I am reading is this is framed and passed through the parliament, right? There, there is every meaning, even a comma police stuff anywhere, has every meaning. It has gone through a lot of scrutiny and then grammar, whatever it is, right? Requires such modification of the dimensions aforesaid in respect of any future working as he may specify, right? And here, uh, this, this is what just I wanted to show you. From that, already you understood my beloved students. I am giving a gist now uh, here and for five more minutes. Now it is 8.26. I will show you something more, a gist of it. As you have seen now in different regulations, during development, height of the gallery cannot exceed three meters. Already you have seen all these uh, regulations, these numbers and all, of course, uh, you can see uh, in from the regulation book. There may be one number here and there. Don't worry for that. Now, the pillars formed in any seam or section shall normally be rectangular in shape, as this may be 111 in that draft regulation, whatever I provided there. And uh, with increase in depth of working, the strata pressure on pillars increases. This is, you know very well, I am talking something more about the pillar size. 
here for uh, when depth is increasing you know very well that uh, considering 2.5 mpa right as a i mean uh, for 100 meter depth cover that is a 2.5 gram per cc of a density of sandstone it comes to be about 0 0.025 mpa per meter when you are going to the depth per meter depth so if it is 100 meter then it will be 2.5 mpa of the stress will be there on the pillars that is a general phenomena uh, where that earth crust consists majority of your sandstone with that rho gh formula that is very simple uh, then the, therefore pillar dimension increases with depth to support the increased strata pressure further already i, I have shown you uh, with increase of depth width of the gallery increases right uh, now this results in greater strata pressure per unit area on the solid pillar and requirement of increased pillar size to take this load that is the reason why when you are going into more depth right here what is happening there the pillar size now you can see here then 12 meter at 60 meter depth now at 90 meter around 13.5 meters at 150 meter around 16 meters uh, pillar size i mean uh, 240 meters depth cover 22.5 in that way more than 360 at 39 meter this is increasing at the same time the pillar size also should be more when there is a width of the gallery is also more here when it is a 3 meter width that is a 12 meter pillar size then 3.6 meter then 15 meter this is the way how this is done and the same thing as a gist it was kept don't worry for this numbering and all it may be 111 or 112 you can see from the regulations that book also now therefore pillar and this is already shown here for different widths of the galleries between 3 meter and 4.8 meter pillar sizes different depths are given of course it was already shown in that now size of the pillar also depends on following factor that is a guideline frame but otherwise we may design for a typical situation somewhere now you can imagine somewhere already we have seen uh, what are the factors affecting in the choice and other places where we have seen even the strength of the core or roof and floor characteristics all those things are also supposed to be understood so now you just imagine uh, there is a pillar the there is a mine which is at 100 meter depth cover as per regulation they cannot consider all the parameters okay so somewhere coal may be very strong or somewhere coal may be very weak with a lot of cleats and so many things so in that case i can change the dimension of the pillar uh, maybe at the same depth cover i can increase or decrease also depending on our situations right so those things there is a provision where dgms can give permission now it is 8 30 we will break now then we will discuss further uh, as per our uh, SOP or standard operating procedure or code of practice, whatever the way you consider. Now, let me just take a break here. And now, my beloved students, any doubts you may ask? I am taking attendance. Once again, right, download it. Yes. Any doubts? Today, at least there is no problem of connectivity. Yes, I could see uh, many people here. Siti Nadha Behra. Spatika. Surya. Amitanandan. Amitanandan Oja. Uh, Vinayak Sahu. Hariharan. Vinayak Kumar. Sharma, it seems. Ah, Mishra. Right. So, any uh, and another one is Megana. Belavidasari Baliva Dasai. Megana. Yes. Uh, are you able to hear my voice? Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, so, yes, sir. right. If you have any sir. doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, there will be small quiz type of thing also I can keep it, but in between I used to ask some questions. Uh, it's all right. Uh, if you have any doubt now, shall I? Sir, uh, yes, uh, I'm Aishmir, sir. I have a doubt that uh, where we not uh, further increase the pillar size. Uh, right. As you said. Uh, any other doubt? That is fine. And any other? 
so that at a time I will address everybody. Any other doubt? Okay, if there is no other doubt, now your doubt is about uh, once again, shall you? Uh, uh, sir, why we further not increase the uh, uh, decrease, uh, sir, decrease the pillar size? Right, why we should not decrease the pillar size, okay? So the meaning here is very simple, uh, Ayush, right? Uh, where we have a pillar, right? And uh, that is uh, stable, for example, okay? Then this is as per the regulation. If it is as per the regulation, if it is more than that size, okay, or less than that size, that, that's what is the issue, okay? So if it is less than that size, there is no point of further reduction. And if it is more than that size, now if you go for decreasing that size, means what we are supposed to do? Any idea how, how a pillar size is reduced? If already there are pillars, now, now you just, now others can respond very easily. Now these are all the pillars. I hope you are able to see these pillars, right? So now when you want to decrease the pillar size, how it is possible? Can anybody say how it can be done? Suppose width of the gallery is 4.8 meters. Sir, from the sideways side. The sides already if the width of the gallery is 4.8. As per regulation, can you decrease the pillar? I mean, no, sir. can you increase the width of the gallery more than 4.8? No, sir. Very simple common sense. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Very simple. It is not allowed. Right. And one more thing, very another layman's terminology also. Suppose even before formulation of any guideline, it was made, for example, and now they wanted to now they, they this is very safe and now you can reduce. Okay. Then for reduction, you have to widen the gallery. That is not possible. If you are widening, it may become more than 4.8, right? And at the same time, when there are workings which are stable, why you should disturb that stability or equilibrium? You got it? Very simple to understand. Now, no, sir, uh, yeah. sir uh, my question is that uh, uh, if the, the standard table is not followed, you said that the standard table is not followed, which Rather than that, also we cannot decrease the floor. Uh, the standard will release, let's say, 4.45 meter between two pillars. Uh, right. But we make 4. Point, uh, uh, more than that. And right. uh, we have a chance to reduce. But still, we cannot reduce that. Uh, you said like that. So I asked. It should, how, not, be done. It should not be done. Achha, who can answer his question? I hope others understood. Who, who, who can say? His question once again. Who can answer or otherwise who can say? Anybody? Sir, sir I think yes. question is that uh, yes. when the gallery size is not, uh, is gallery size is less than 4.8, but uh, why we can reduce, uh, why we can't reduce the pillar size? Even right. the pillar size is greater than the... Very good. Then you can, very simple, then you can, apply to DJMS, right? And then take as a special permission. That class is already there. You got it? Yes, sir. Very simple. Very simple. You should prove that uh, based on your uh, scientific studies, strength of the pillar is this much and then its safety factor is coming to be this much. So now I can reduce it by two meter. Right. Okay, you got it? Yes, sir. Any problem? <laughs> because we have done these designs over three and a half decades, designed so many mining methods. Okay. And one of that is now you can note down, everybody to note down. When we designed a white star mining method, you please note down in 1988, Dr. TNC, Dr. Tribhuvan Singh, who was our uh, team leader, right? Okay. In our underground coal mining method, mine model department, where I was working for about a decade. When he designed it, there we have taken a special permission, right, from DJMS because we are going against this law. And on experimental basis, we have done all scientific investigations and studies in East Bagadi Colliery. You note down those things also, right? East Bagadi Colliery of BCCL, 
Bharat Coking Co Limited. And then when we approached them, they said DJMS people that we will not go against this law. So you prove that this will be stable. Still, after all this modeling, then that at that time we were using equivalent material models. You please note down equivalent material models. You can see in that book also, like the TN Singh book, whatever I was referring to, telling you to see many times, uh, where he has given all these things, right? Where then they have given permission. I mean, as I have told you, permission to go with uh, stowing. Although you prove that it is having more than two safety factor. So in the experimental trial, we will not believe unless it is experimented, tested in so many geo mining conditions, right? And then do instrumentation. How much stress is coming in your model? You say that this is a stress and this is a strength of the pillar. This is a safety factor more than two that you do instrumentation and then with the instrumentation you measure. So that's the reason why I am also showing you my beloved students. Now, are you able to see this? Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes. This is that stress capsule which we used to measure over three and a half decades, right? How much stress is coming on the pillar? How much stress is coming when I am reducing the pillar and making it as a stook? And also in the white stall mining, when I make a gallery of six meters and when I'm making it to seven meter, eight meter, even up to nine meter, we made the experimental trials and proved that they are uh, stable. And uh, with the stowing only it was permitted and later for the first time in India, uh, without stowing, we have done, uh, especially I was there as a project leader for that and I did it in West Chirimiri Colliery and Bartunga Hill. Uh, in thick seam and the normal seams in 1980s and early 90s. So this is what happens, my beloved students. Now, now it is fine. You got it. How to do that? How to design? And what are the limitations of the regulations? Okay, right. And later, when you prove with your design, then you are experimenting in the mines. There are some situations. Since I told you about that, you also note down there itself where in 8990 right that was a time 88 the time when blasting gallery method was a failure in india with cdf france in east katras of pccl and also chora colliery of ECC, ecl eastern coal fields limited and that is a time when indigenous mining method with cable bolting with taxi mining and all was also done at that time only already i told you that is a small part of my phd also in 8990 okay now continuing further I am just making it big. Ah, are you able to see the screen? Because in between so, I made screen. Uh, ah, right. Yes. So size of this pillar. Now you are at the liberty to uh, to utilize your intelligence or your smart uh, minds and whatever it is. Machine learning, deep learning, collecting data, using modeling, everything. Now based you can change that parameter also as I told you just now. OK, then but you should give sufficient justification and you should convince the DGMS are the chief inspector rate or the inspector rate, whatever it is, and then they can give you other than through this regulation as an experimental permission like that. We have designed so many methods already. I have been telling you few, but many things we will discuss further again, depending on your interest, my beloved students, because I see in you the future underground mining designers and mining engineers and uh, uh, to take further our underground mining in India as well as in the in other countries also. Right. So size of the pillar depends on strength of the coal. Very simple to understand the nature of roof and floor also. How? Because now the pillar may be there, right? So this is your pillar, for example, right? And this is a roof. Now, when this is strong, roof can lead to crushing of pillar edges. When this is very strong and pillar is very soft, then it may crush even the sides. While a soft floor can cause creep. Suppose this floor is soft. Now you can see I'm showing you with a soft floor itself so that it's easy for you to understand. What will happen to that? Now this type of creeping or even that pillar may get right. If it is, if it is a strong and the floor is weak and weak, that can even enter into that 
are this is, these are the situations. What may happen? Larger pillars in both cases reduce the chances of crush and the creep. Of course, this is very simple to understand. When the pillar is large, I mean the pillar size is more, then there is a less tendency of this crushing or creeping or whatever may damage your pillars. Now, this is these are the factors that you have to consider in deciding this pillar size. That is the meaning of this. Then you have to consider this local geology. That means larger pillars are left near the geological disturbances, such as fault to take care of uneven distribution of load in the vicinity. I think I need not elaborate. You can understand. Now, time dependent strain due to time dependent behavior of rock mass. Uh, what is the meaning of time dependent behavior? Very simple. Suppose I formulated the pillar. This is a roof, right? And this is a floor, whatever it is, right? Uh, now, let me show you like this. This is a pillar and this is a floor. Now, if this pillar is standing for one year, two years, three years, 10 years, 20, 30, 40, you can imagine after some time, right? Even I am holding this for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. After some time, even I get a lot of pain in this. Okay, that is what is a creep and other things. Okay, where time dependent strain with the time, one thing is this will deteriorate. And then when continuous load is there acting, then that's what is the meaning of this point. Uh, what I have written here, time dependent strain. Due to time dependent behavior of rock mass, load remaining constant, Strain goes on increasing with time. So to take care of this, pillar size should be large, very simple. Otherwise, a pillar which is initially stable may fail under the time dependent strain, right? Then of course, there are so many other factors. Only a few I mentioned here. You can see even in that book and other places also. Effect of working atmosphere, there may be watery conditions, right? Presence of water, and especially when we are talking about the water, I would like to give you, and you should know, of course, as an Indian mining engineer, you should know, my beloved students, that Kamti series is a highly water bearing strata, especially in Varda Valley coal fields, right? That's what I used to tell you. You cannot become a good mining engineer unless you are a good geologist, right? I mean, you need not become a go and read MSc geology, but you should know about the geology of that area, my beloved students of underground coal mining methods. So this presence of water and escape of gas also influence the pillar size. OK, so how uh, now now you uh, my question to you is how this escape of gas is influencing the pillar size now that you note down and you can answer at the end of the. Right with your own ideas, whatever you can think of right uh, now continuing further. Here itself. I am writing so that you should not forget. Otherwise, you have to remind me in between. Also, right. Uh, what is this? Okay. This is a effect of gas or its release. How influencing the pillar size or its stability, whatever it is. Don't worry for the spelling mistakes. How it is influencing the pillar size. OK, now continuing further. When this is about the pillar, when it comes to the panel, panel size, already you have seen, I have shown you in the different uh, uh, plans in the panels I have shown, but still it is for your uh, once again. I will show whether it is. Uh, yes, it is there here uh, because seeing is believing. That's why I used to show you my beloved students. The pillar already you are seeing here how the pillar is appearing, right? So with time, what will happen if there is a water and all all these cleats and the side fall may happen. So many things depending on different situations. Right. So before depillaring itself or splitting and slicing, there may be crushing of the pillar or so many things may happen. Right. And as you have seen that panel size when it comes to the panel size, right? As you are seeing here, the green 
color, right, is a barrier pillar. How to decide? And this, of course, I told you, giving that example of SS9 panel, which we were designing as a part of some investigations in Bhopalpali area last year itself, and they are following it, where to protect this surface features, PWD road, and then high tension power lines. So this was kept uh, unextracted and under the barrier. Otherwise, they could have extracted that also. So this pillar, now you can see here, this is strong enough. That's why it is standing like this, even for 10, 15, 20 years. Otherwise, this may get crushed, right, with time. Uh, and that is the way how we'll decide. And of course, panel size, when it comes to that, now that mine already I've shown you, yes. So this is a panel sizes. Now you can see this is one panel. This is another panel. This is another panel. These are the panels, different panels. And based on your technology, how you are extracting, whether fast rate of extraction or even while development also, we decide some size because you have to provide even ventilation, transport, water facilities, so many things you are supposed to provide, right? These are all the panel sizes of different sizes you can see here and there, right? So this is what just I wanted to just communicate once again, all right? When it comes to this panel size, now, usually panels are longer along stride direction and shorter along the deep rise direction. Then the reason, very simple, of course. Now that also let me put it to you, uh, how, why, and like this, right? So panel size, long, a long strike, right? Why? What comes to your mind or what, what already, I know you read about these things, right? And uh, this, of course, also will be a part of your query or the quiz, whatever you consider. Okay. It's for today, right? It's all right. So in this panel size, uh, I along strike and already uh, I I told in between also previously the deep rise direction it is uh, shorter number of pillars usually varying between 12 and 30 it, in, uh, it may be somewhere 30 40 pillars also are there right but this is a general range generally it depend on the incubation period ultimately ultimately this pillar or panel size or the district this panel is also known as a district that is also uh, uh, is supposed to be extracted within the incubation period and generally incubation period in our Indian coals, that is a bituminous coal, what we have been mining by underground, of course, lignite by open cast, so we are not worrying for that. So here, uh, it is usually between three and 10 months. Of course, it is there even one year also for some of the coals, right? Uh, and uh, so that depleting of the entire panel is finished within this incubation period. And to take care of that, we are supposed to consider so many parameters. What are that parameters? Even what technology that you are using, if it is only manual mining, then your rate of extraction will be very slow. You may be producing 1000 tons per day at the most, or even if it is with LSDs or HDLs, using five LSDs in one district or one panel, now, how much you can produce? Anybody can respond now. If I am giving you five LSDs as an agent, as a general manager, you are a manager of the mine. Now I provide you five LSDs, right, to your mine. And that is, you are using it in a depillaring panel, right? How much coal you can give to me or to the company? Anybody? Yes, no, first. Sir, one LSD gives. So one LSD can carry up to uh, twenty five hundred tons of per day. Then no, no, first you tell your name and then give the answer. Yes, sir. Right. I'm Surya Khan, sir. Surya, very good. Uh, any other answers? That is fine. Don't worry. Uh, any other answers? Uh, sir, five hundred tons. Five hundred tons. Five hundred yes. tons from five LSDs. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, anybody else? Suppose if I give you SDLs, five, how much you can provide? 
how much coal you can provide as a manager because uh, manager is ultimately the responsible person as for our production productivity safety stability everything is concerned for the mines right so if your general manager comes and says that i am giving you five lhds uh, then and uh, if i want 2500 tons of coal can you provide definitely not right so the average uh, that is the reason why i used to tell you in between if it is sdl the national average whatever the production productivity figures what we have is around 120 to 150 or it can be 100 to 150 whatever for sdls site discharge or site dump loaders which runs on the crawlers in my name also you must have read it but i need not show you that specification and other things of that but some idea you should have it and other things you will be learning in mining machinery and other classes also but since it is a crawler mounted with about 1.5 tons or 1.25 tons bucket capacity it can lift and then site discharge it can do like this right uh, otherwise lhds which are tire mounted and it may also even if it is having 1.5 same capacity or little bit bigger because that is a tire mounted it can move fast very simple so now you can produce more very simple but crawler mounted i can use it even in little bit more inclination one in six or something like that but if it is tire mounted when there is inclination is more that tire will skid so you cannot use in that so more flatter more better that's what happens in southeastern coal fields where they are almost flat seams right these are the reasons all these things you should also note down you should know about it and that's what i used to tell you in between also based on not only from the books and other things by my own experiences of little 35 years right managing all these technologies and designing and giving some new mining methods to our indian mining lab right now continuing further uh, the size of the panel acha now already that answer is clear or not if it is sdl 100 to 150 is a national average what we can produce and then around 125 or 150 to 200 for lhds in that way five lhds are given if you can perform better you can give even up to 1000 tons if you are a poor performer of course 500 is a minimum right uh, you should get at least 700 whatever if it is sdls then okay and 500 to 6 700 something like that because when we were working when i was a mission mining in charge district in charge uh, for several a couple of years right then we used to have lot of lot of competition among different shifts and different panels so that my worker or my panel or my shift people should get more incentive okay there are so many things that is a different issue uh, but you cannot produce more than whatever is allowed or because you are also supposed to follow other laws of whether it is a production productivity safety ventilation stability all those things are also you are supposed to follow and whatever you produce that also should be transported to the surface and one more thing you should also prepare the coal at the face of that much there should be a compatibility all that we will discuss don't worry now uh, the size of the panel can be large if the rate of extraction is high already you understood that which is possible with mechanization and if it is with uh, uh, continuous miner you can get even up to 2000 2500 per day that we have been getting it and if it is long wall already i told you and long wall long back it was uh, with uh, double ended ranging drum shearer with 100 meter to 150 meter face length we were getting at the most around 3000 3500 4000 used to be the maximum now with even 300 meter 250 meter face length with 1000 hp r kilowatt uh, double ended ranging drum shear cutting with uh, even up to 4 meter 4.5 meter we have been using right where we are aiming for even 10000 to 12000 tons per day even 2.85 million tons per year right this is this is what is the figure and you should know about it now uh, why you should know because if you are given with some conditions and some expectations from you as a manager of a underground coal mine then you should 
be able to fulfill. Otherwise, he should be able to justify that. Yes, even a general or your director or your um, agent, if he forces you, then you should be able to justify, sir, I can get this much based on these, these, these conditions, right? And you have every authority to do that as a manager of a mine. And I want you to the best managers, my be beloved students of underground coal mining technology, MN2102, as a best coal mining engineers in India, if not in the world. Now, continuing further, size of the pan is also determined from the strata control considerations. Very simple to understand. Now, it is 8.58, only one minute more, I will talk about it, and later your answers, and then short uh, summary, uh, you decide yourself who is summarizing. Now, size of the panel, you just imagine, very simple. If this is a main roof, right? So main roof, your panel, suppose this is a panel. This main roof is supposed to come down if it is a caving panel, right? If this panel size is small, right? Then if it is unable to cave, right? Then there is a problem. Uh, already I told you, right? And uh, that is the reason why this size of the panel is also supposed to be selected, right? That issues based on the strata control so that all these goofs should get settled, cave, and fill the total goof. If the then it will not fill the goof, and that may stand building up stress and uh, around the uh, region on overlying, underlying workings, and that causes a lot of evoke, sort of problems of strata control and that may lead to even coal bumps and burst, whatever, right? In India, size of a typical panel with moderate level of mechanization is about 150 meter by 120 meter. Don't be with that figure. It can be even 300 meters or whatever. But this is when it is 150 meter by 12, 120 or even 100 meter, this gives us around 15,000 or 20,000 square meter area of extraction. Now here itself, I'm giving you one simple point. In India, we are getting even a major fall in our conditions with around uh, 60 meter clear span in the go, right? And then around 4,000 to 5,000 square meter area of extraction, we have been getting that. So here itself, we will stop. Even now it is uh, 8.59, 30 minutes for 30 seconds for your any answers for the questions. And uh, then uh, let me take attendance. And then who is summarizing? Be ready. Yes, please. I'm taking attendance once again. Who is summarizing? Today, we are fortunate enough. There was no problem of uh, any connectivity. Uh, now, if you are yes, giving sir, any I'm... answers for this, uh, yes, please. Yes, I am. Sum I will summarize, sir. I... Uh, yes, continue. Effect of gas, the quiz is release how it is influencing the pillar size. And next is panel size, long tail on the strike and the price less. Why? Uh, sir, I am uh, Aryaman. Yes. Uh, sir, I think, sir, during extraction uh, process, many harmful gases are released like methane, uh, right. which we want uh, to be removed as soon as possible. So right. if the size of pillar is very large, it may blockade uh, the escape of the gas, which we don't want, because right. that can be fatal for the people working there. Right. So I think in that way. Uh, Any, uh, anything about this second one? One by uh, one, whatever comes to your mind, you tell, then we will discuss. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Anybody? Sir, uh, I have I have to add that uh, means uh, due Amit to. Ananda. Hey, you tell yes. your name. Yes, sir. Uh, Amitananda. Right. Acha, while answering, if you are comfortable, uh, for that you need not to be with your uh, uh, face mask and uh, uh, beautifully like Shahrukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan, not required. But at least you can show your face if you are comfortable. Right. Okay, Amitananda, continue. Sir, I want to add in that first question answer, sir. First question. Right. Uh, continue. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, uh, in that, uh, if that gas uh, means pillar are made up of uh, also of some coal, 
and if that gas which is come from outside it, if it reacts then it will also destroy that uh, means pillar which is made of coal very good so one point any, uh, any other the uh, environment of that uh, means around the pillar uh, should be maintained right uh, anything else sir that is a good uh, point i want uh, to add the yes sir, I, uh, can i say that like if there, there is a gas chamber inside a pillar then if the gas is released then a void space also can be created in that area so so this stress concentrations all will also be changed in the pillar then it will hamper the pillar system very good uh, anything else about panel size next one Yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. so, so panel panel is panel size is long uh, along the strike direction and uh, shorter in the deep directions because uh, if it if it is uh, longer in the deep direction, so we have to be means if we have to face more trouble because it will be sloppy sloppy directions and lot of uh, machinery and working uh, will be hampered in that sloppy area. But in the strike direction, it will be flat. It will appear to be flat. Then it will be easier for our working condition. That's okay. Uh, now it, it sir, is. Uh, yes. Uh, sir, I, I, just, I want to some point in panel uh, panel size right. along the stri yes, strike direction, sir. Continue. sir continue. If, Make it very short. Yes. Sir, as uh, we know that uh, the rectangular pillar are more stable, I think, than from Rembrandt alone like that. Uh, so uh, as we continue. Uh, uh, pillar size in along the strike direction set that will be more we get more amount of rectangular pillar so with less amount of pillar we can more stability on the uh, upper over bottom of strata so i think that's the main reason I okay very good uh, anybody want to say anything more uh, then then just i am adding something to that your uh, answers are very good now this is a panel you just imagine this is a panel okay now since uh, it is dipping like this, okay. Now you just imagine, even in your mechanization or even a manual mining, also, will it be easy for you or more convenient to work along the levels or along the dip rights? Very simple. Along the levels, levels it is very comfortable, very convenient because along, along the horizontal, uh, even our machine performance will be better, even while working like this is very easy compared to working like this. Is it not? Yes, sir. So yes, this sir. is one of the very simplest reason why along the strike that the, this is to ensure more efficiency and more better production productivity, all those things. And now coming to this uh, uh, gas release issues, very simple. Suppose if it is a coal, uh, I'm in the scene, uh, I, there's a pillar, right? If there is a gas in that, right? So that means this forms some type of even the cracks are releasing and so many things happens. Yes, sir. Okay, that that makes it uh, more soft and then more weaker. Very thick. Eh? So in that situation, it should be very big size pillar, right? Okay. Now who is going to? Uh, of course, now it is the time. Uh, who is going to uh, yes, summarize? Today, I right? I I summarize. I will summarize. Uh, I is summarizing. Good. Yeah. Continue, please. Sir, uh, initially we say the, we saw the coal mine regulation 2017, and we uh, get uh, from that one 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 development of coal work. We'll study uh, first is the dimension of pillar, and carried of pillar depend on situation. Uh, and uh, then in second point, no gallery site should be uh, more than three meter height and four point eight meter width. Uh, yes, sir, yes. we can we we, we can make. We can make more, more, more and more height uh, by any advanced technology uh, of machine machinery used by using very advanced technology. We can uh, more height of that uh, pillar. If, if you have to do in space, you have a special situation. Then uh, with, uh, like uh, we have to make the height more than three meter and width four point eight meter. Then we have to take special permission. Uh, from the uh, like uh, chief or uh, inspector or regional inspector then third point is generally pillar are rectangular and the with increase in the depth the pressure on the pillar which also increased and width also uh, may increase uh, the rate of loading on the pillar is 0 0.025 megapascal per meter and uh, distance between the uh, distance between the center of two pillars uh, 
should not be uh, less than that specified on the table. For special issues or purposes, we have to take the special permission from the chief inspector. Like in six point um, pillar uh, space between less, uh, not less than in the table. Then uh, you said about that that I I should then under the director of uh, in Bhuvneshwar and the then we side study about the pillar size uh, then factor affecting the pillar size. Uh, the, the, and that are online that st strength of coal, the pillars that depend on the strength of coal and nature of group, local geology, time dependent strength and measureless factor. Very good. So yes, I'll nicely summarized and uh, in the next classes, I mean subsequent class, we will be going in details into some of these already, whatever I'm showing you are scanning through this uh, uh, with a good case studies of our uh, recent extraction methods and all. Uh, as far as board and pillar is concerned, we will discuss more and more about it. Uh, in addition to uh, these uh, uh, width of the barrier, pillar size, whatever left out, of course, we will discuss further. All the best and take care of COVID-19 Omicron. And you are there with your living guards. I mean, your parents take care of them. They are already taking care of you. All the best and then any doubts, of course, anytime you can write even in this MS team as well as our uh, email. Otherwise, except in the sleeping time through phone also that my phone numbers are with you. OK, then all the best. Now I am stopping recording for today before stopping. What generally we do used to say? So be the best underground coal mining engineers for future, not only for India in the world also. All the best. I'm stopping recording now. Leave.